What is the lawsuit value of a bulging disc? How much money can a plaintiff in a lawsuit recover if they have suffered a bulging disc as a result of a car accident, a truck accident, motorcycle accident, slip and fall, construction accident, or any other type of accident in a personal injury case, in a civil case? Well, what is a bulging disc? A bulging disc is something like this. This is a model of the spine. And you could see that you have the vertebrae, which are bone, right here, the white part, that's the bone. The discs are right here, uh, circles in between the bone. And you have the uh, nerve roots, which are the yellow parts, right here behind uh, the, uh, the spinal model. So a bulging disc, a healthy disc, first of all, looks something like this. It's just a circle. And a bulging disc is the same circle, it's the same disc, but there's a little extra portion because the wall of the disc is now bulging or jutting out. The disc itself has a nucleus and the nucleus has a liquid inside of it, which is the consistency maybe of honey or a toothpaste. It's a liquid and it has many rings and, or walls within that disc. And then for that liquid to break through all of those rings, right, to break through all of those walls and then for that liquid to leak outside of the disc, it has to be a pretty traumatic and serious impact. And when that wall starts to bulge, that's what a bulging disc looks like. You see that little piece on top that's like bulging out. And when you have a herniated disc, it just means that now the wall has broken and that liquid is really leaking out and touching the nerve roots. A herniated disc could be seen here with the red part right there. That's the herniated disc and it could be touching that nerve root right there. So that's even more serious than a bulging disc. But a bulging disc by itself, now if you just do physical therapy and nothing else, a bulging disc will probably be worth anywhere from five to $10,000, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, depending on numerous factors like the insurance company, uh, the venue of where you file the lawsuit, like Bronx County is better than Queens County, which maybe is a little better than Manhattan, which is a little worse than, uh, or actually Manhattan is a little better, I would say, than Westchester. So it really depends on the county in New York where you bring your lawsuit. It also depends on the type of case you have because sometimes you have a car accident case where it's pretty straightforward and you could get it settled for a nice number if there's an insurance policy available, right? Because sometimes you have a car accident and there's only a $25,000 policy, whereas other times there could be a 100,000 policy, there could be a $250,000 policy, there could be a million dollar policy or more. Um, so it really depends on that. How much money is there that you can go after uh, for your injuries and the, the amount of the pocket that you could go after, of course, is, is very important in, in, in practicality and in realistic, you know, everyday uh, terms that that's crucial. So those are all those are all factors. But going back to just the injury itself, the bulging disc. So it really depends on what you do for that bulging disc. Now, if you just have physical therapy, let's say for two, three months, and you do nothing else, the bulging disc is probably worth about five to 10,000. If you do one step further where you see pain management and you have a pain relief injection for that bulge, where they put in a little medicine known as an epidural steroid injection, well now maybe that bulge will be worth 20,000, 30,000, even up to 50,000 or more. Now, if you go the next step and you do a microdiscectomy or a percutaneous discectomy where they take a striker decompressor and it spins and it goes into the disc and it acts like a straw and suctions out the, uh, the leak from the disc and decompresses the disc, thereby removing the leak or the bulge, well, now that could be worth even more. That could be worth, I would say, 100,000, 150. It could be even worth more than that. We just settled the case uh, last week for a percutaneous discectomy and we settled it for $370,000, nearly 400,000. So it's worth a lot more. So, and then of course, if a bulge is so severe that it's causing you pain and that uh, jutting out of the disc is touching the nerve root and the doctor believes you need some sort of surgery for it, uh, open surgery, then you're probably talking into the seven figures. So that's a, that's a real, but that usually is not the case with bulges. That's usually the case with herniations, but it, it is possible if it's, a, it's, if it's a severe bulge. So it really depends on the course of treatment that you take. It depends on the venue. It depends on the attorney that's handling the case. It depends on which insurance company uh, comes into the case. It depends on uh, a lot of different factors. So it's hard to say exactly, but uh, going through the system, you could come up with a range, a different range of, uh, of numbers that you could receive for a bulging disc.